Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So basically today my video is going to be about my pet peeves, so basically things that just get to me like, that just grind my gills, yes sir. So anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into the video. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm so sorry, I don't know what it is, but I just keep doing this for no reason, I don't know why. My number one pet peeve, <laughs> this one is very close to my heart, it's just, it just really, it pisses me off, I can't lie, like, it really annoys me and this is people who misspell my name <sighs> like why why what why why and especially because all my socials they they're in my name my email is in my name so i don't understand how my name can just be there in front of you and you still manage to spell it wrong you must you must be doing it on purpose because i'm i don't understand it and the reason why it annoys me the most is because that's even my half name. If I now say that everyone must call me by my full name, you will all start crying, yeah? And the fact that people always try and like, oh, can I call you this? Can I call you N? Can I... Anyway. <laughs> um, shall... Anyway, so... Let me not even get into that. That one. With these people trying to call me N. Don't do that the fact that my mom did y'all a favor by giving me a half name and you lot still want to butcher it i don't like that it's not cute stop it my pet peeve number two is um unprovoked liars so people that just lie about anything the littlest things they just they just lie for no reason i don't know why but they just lie i just don't like it like I don't know. I just don't like it. I can't even. I can't even go into depth with it. I just don't like people that just lie about the littlest things. About just something that they shouldn't even be lying about. Another pet peeve: people that don't clean up after themselves. Am I your mother? Am I your mother? Why should I clean up after you? Like, okay, I'm gonna give an example, right? You go. To the kitchen you make your food and all of that and then you leave the ketchup there you leave the butter there you leave the knife there you i don't like that no you know where you got it so put it back where you got it i just i don't like when people do that if it's once in a while and it's a mistake that's fine but if every time i'm having to not come and wipe your breadcrumbs after you make food because you couldn't be bothered to do it no please i'm not your mother in this in this world right now at this very moment i do not have a child i have not entered the labor ward so please do not make me your mother thank you another pet peeve of mine people that say no offense to downplay the insults why are you saying no offense why are you saying that you're already saying that because you know that what you're about to say is offensive so just say it say it with your chest say it with your chest do you know what i mean like oh no offense but you know, you don't really look that nice. You knew it was going to be offensive, so why are you saying no offence? Huh? Say with your chest, period. This is nice. <laughs> Another pet peeve of mine is people that are always complaining. I can't deal with someone that just has something to complain about every single day. I can't deal with it. It goes hand in hand with people that are always negative. Can't deal with that. You plan to do something, oh, but it might go wrong this way because this, this and that might happen. I don't like that. Like, I'm not saying that, oh, just be that person that's always optimistic about everything, thinking that everything's going to go well. No, but like the people that are always finding little faults in little things every single time, I don't like those type of people and I don't need those type of people in my life, period. Another thing that I don't like, um, that's one of my pet peeves, is people that touch my hair. Hey, Jesus. Is, is it real? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just so gorgeous. You don't have to touch it to know that. I absolutely hate it. Especially when I have my natural hair out. 
I feel like if I've got a wig on, whatever, I don't mind too tough. But when I've got my natural hair out and I've got in a little cute puff and whatnot, you know when you have a puff, you put in a certain in a certain shape, like you kind of just, you know what I mean, right? And someone now comes to dig their finger in because they want to check if the hair is real or not. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing it? And now you've just messed up the whole shape. Now it's lopsided. Why? Why? I hate that so much. Like, if I've got my natural hair out, don't touch my hair. Unless you want to piss me off. Another pet peeve of mine <laughs> is people that love to talk about other people. I can't lie. Me? <laughs> I mean, I love a little bit of gossip, but I can't deal with people who just want to be talking about other people all the time. I can't. No. If every time you talk to me or every conversation is just you talking about what this and that did, what this and that are doing, what this and that is up to and whatnot, I, I don't like that. Because for me personally, like if I'm chilling with someone and I notice that they love to talk about other people, I'm not really gonna feel comfortable around them because one, I'm gonna think that you do that. Like you could be talking about me as well when you're around your other friends, do you know what I mean? People that love to talk about other people that are just too inner in people's businesses. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't like that. Another pet peeve of mine is people that don't wash their hands after using the toilet. What? What? And then you wanna come and now touch me? And these are the same people that go around touching people's faces like oh my god you're so cute with their dirty hands i don't like it like if someone goes to the toilet and i just hear them come out and i didn't hear no tap water i'm a bit like oh scary scary no that's disgusting do you better man another one of my pet peeves is like okay say i've got food yeah and it doesn't look that nice or delicious and whatnot and then someone looks at it and is like oh what is that oh that looks disgusting oh i wouldn't eat that oh why does it look like that that really annoys me first of all this food is going into my stomach why are you bothered about how it looks how it might taste or how it doesn't look appetizing and whatnot. It's going into my stomach, not yours. So why are you bothered? Please mind your food. <laughs> what? Because it's just like I'm I'm happy to be eating this food. Like I'm really looking forward to eating this. And you're out here trying to like make me look at my food somehow. Don't do that. Don't do that. You in my business. Don't do that. She. <laughs> you in my business? Yeah, don't do that one last pet peeve of mine this one might be a bit hypocritical in a sense but like one of my pet peeves is people that are always late like they're just always late i can't i can't i can't deal with that because it's, it means you don't respect my time it means your time is more impe important than mine i don't like that i said hypocritical because obviously there's times where i'm late and stuff like that but like I just I don't like it in general, especially if it's something important. If it's just something minor, that's fine. But like if we have something important planned and you decide to be late and then lie about it, that's even worse. Like I prefer if someone is late and they're honest, like, oh I can't lie. I'ma be an hour late, 30 minutes late. Don't tell me 10 minutes late and then turn up two hours later. What? Respect to me please. Anyway, that's the last of my pet peeves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys comment, you like, subscribe, and don't forget to share too. I really appreciate it if you've watched this video up to this point. Thank you so much. Thank you.